Welcome back. Here we are at video number four for this guy, the Harbor Freight 5 horsepower uh, compressor pump. I guess it's a central pneumatic. So uh, this video, we've got final assembly and some unexpected repairs. Now we need to get our power all hooked back up. I need those pliers. It's always very handy for getting into those spots for your fingers really don't do well in. Ground goes up here with that screw and then we've got black is down there on the bottom, white on top. We're good there. So our motor is hooked back to our pressure switch. Put that cover back on there. Hey, here we are at the part where we make up a new cord. You may choose to hardwire your compressor. Originally, I had this 410 cord that I got, you know, on the clearance rack because it was a deal. And it's very heavy and cumbersome. And it turns out, according to my buddy, the electrician, unnecessary and kind of dumb. So we strip back a little bit. Uh, we'll get about a half inch off each of those fellas and then we'll just swap them out. Look at that. Everything's together and we'll just tighten up the clamp here and put the cover on the back again. Our cord wired into our presser switch. Just basically you copy the side that's already in here being as I'm reusing the original pressure switch. <coughs> White, black, and then you yeah, bolt the ground to the case and you're good to go there. Now we're going to have to add some oil to the crankcase and well because I'm the great complicator I added a panic button so to speak. So Let's, uh, next let's work out some oil. We're getting somewhere. Now we'll still have to put the cover back on that. Pour the oil in, it's threaded, it's got a nice, nice seal there. We'll throw in our favorite yellow funnel to fill to the halfway point. It's about three pints. So we'll reposition the camera. So they have a, a full synthetic compressor oil. Uh, about 10 bucks for the quart. Okay, everyone's in a nice spot there to keep an eye on that sight glass. Well, here we are. Everything's together. Air cleaners are now on. Unnecessary power switch is on and at the ready. Uh, we'll flip on the pressure switch. Here we go. Do have a little leaking. Last night I had a fairly successful test run, first run of the new compressor setup. I'm going to point out a couple of things that I maybe should have been different. I guess the one thing is the, the outlet from the pump down here into the tank. Uh, I think I should have come with a street elbow, 90 off of there, then run my copper out, have one elbow go straight into the tank. Uh, that way I could pull off this copper feed line without having to take the pump back off, which I'm gonna have to do now. I believe I've got a bad check valve. Uh, it ran the compressor up to full pressure. The unloader unloaded. This is the 
tube for the unloader. It's uh, here in the pressure switch. An unloader takes the pressure out of your pump and your feed pipe, uh, but not your tank. Let down the tank until the compressor wanted to kick on again, but there was uh, enough residual pressure in the pump itself that our little five horse, or supposedly five horse, bogged down, uh, nearly quit before it would start, and got it hot enough where I kicked out the uh, thermal overload there. Uh, tear it back down, check out the check valve also. Uh, pressure switch. The contacts on the pressure switch are arcing and sparking enough that I can see them through this deal there. So I'm gonna also tear that guy back down. Take off these belts. Next, we're gonna loosen up the fittings on the uh, air outlet. It looks like there's some sort of stuff. I can't really see. There is something. So I've got this lovely setup from Channel Lock. We'll Give me a moment, I'll get the correct uh, tips in there, and we'll get after it. Well, if you've ever wondered what's inside of one of these check valves, oh, and there is a spring. So, got our clip, got a nice little cap, there's our spring, there's our little poppet jobby. And there's a whole big load of shit. Um, yeah, I think that's solder. I feel like that that was likely our our culprit. Okay, we'll reassemble it. Put it back in. And that's how it's supposed to function. Reassembly. So I should have been doing a bit of filming here. I disassembled, took all the wires out, took it off, pressure switch here. Use some electrical contact cleaner. Get it all cleaned out, putting it back together. Uh, we'll finish with the rest of the reassembly and fire it up. Attempt number two, we disassembled and fixed our check valve. Solder was in that. Uh, we disassembled, cleaned the contacts and all the grime out of the old Presser switch, we'll hit that, we'll hit the unnecessary start button. <laughs> oh, the check valve now is functioning correctly. I hope you liked the video. Uh, keep an eye out. I'm gonna do one on the unnecessary cool looking switch. And also we're gonna do some performance testing. Uh, old one, I got that film in the can. Then we're gonna do with the new one and there goes the wood stove kicking on because it's very cold out. I'm gonna say that this, uh, not so bad. With the check valve working, the motor isn't struggling to kick on and it hasn't gotten 
super hot like yesterday. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for those upcoming videos. We'll talk later.